Now, if I was to ask you to step into your time machine and step forward maybe 10 years or so, what do you think CME will look like? What does the future of CME look like? You want me to step into a time machine? Is that a DeLorean? And uh, is, is Professor Brown behind me? That's Because I, I do an impression of him, you know, but, but I won't do that here. Um, what we're going to see is the next generation of learners, the millennials that have recently graduated from medical school or that are in medical school now, are a very different crop. And medical schools are changing as well. So the curricula are changing. So these guys and, and girls are, are absolutely dedicated to lifelong learning. And they won't find CME to be a struggle or how will I get my points, but it will be I need to find the right CME because I know things are changing at a rapid pace. Things change faster now than in the 80s or in the 60s when some of the people that are still practicing went to medical school. So these people are ready for a fast-paced, ever-changing, lifelong learning environment. So we're going to have to keep up with their needs. So we're going to have to provide CME at the point of care, on the mobile device, in the operating room, you know, it, at places where the clinical question comes up, because isn't that what education is all about? How to answer the clinical conundrum that they encounter at the patient's bedside. So we're going to have to see more point of care CME, more mobile applications for CME, and more interactivity so that the learners are directing the education rather than the education being directed at the learners. If we look at this globally, how well do you see CME programs being coordinated across different regions and across different countries? Paul, that's the bane of my existence. The difficulty, the greatest difficulty that I encounter is the, are the differences in the systems that govern CME development and accreditation around the world. You'll notice that there are conferences that there have been, that have, have uh, convened over the last 10 years focusing solely on the harmonization of CME credit systems around the world. Reality is, that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen soon. CME, based on best practices, happens all over the world. So what we need now is some type of organization to oversee best practices in crossing borders with educational content and educational activities so that our learners can benefit and not suffer because the points don't translate. Lawrence, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you very much.